Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Sergi and welcome to a new Anima 2D tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be taking a look at how to make our Anima 2D character play some jump and falling animations. So over here you can see we have our character Steve with his idle animation from last time. We also have the running and walking animations. And if I hit jump, there you go, you can see that he plays the that animation right there from the jump whenever he's going up he has that animation and then whenever he's going down he transitions onto the other one and then let's take a look over here if we go down and jump from the cliff he also plays some animation there okay so let's go ahead and get started with this uh i'm actually not going to be working on steve today this is already made and again and just a reminder, down in the description below, you get the asset package that I usually give with everything as is right now so that you can follow along the tutorial really easily. I'm actually going to be working in the soldier scene. So in under the tutorial scene folder, let's open the soldier scene. And if we hit play, we, we see that we have over here our soldier character. Now I created a new character because in the next tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to make our character shoot. I created a soldier so that we have some kind of weapon to, to shoot. So you see that we have our idle animation and then we have a running animation cool but when we jump nothing happens and if we're moving actually and we jump he just kind of like walks in the air as if he was in space or something so let's get out of play mode and let's get started so the first thing we're gonna need to do is to go over in the animator tab if you don't have it open it's under window animator and we're gonna create a new blend tree so right click create state from new blend tree and let's rename that jumping and now for let's make a transition from any state onto jumping let's edit that transition the first thing we want to do is open the settings tab over here and let's uncheck can transition to self and we're gonna add a condition which is gonna be ground and whenever ground is false Remember, in the animator over here, we had three parameters, speed for the horizontal speed, V speed for the vertical speed, and ground. So whenever ground is false, that means we're either jumping or we're falling, and we want to play some animations. So, and then from jumping, uh, the jumping state onto the locomotion, we're gonna have another transition, which is not gonna have exit time, and we're gonna add a condition, which is ground true so whenever it's true that means we're done jumping or falling and we want to go back into the locomotion state the next thing we need to do is if we open up the, the blend tree we see that we we don't have anything so let's right click add motion and add motion again we're gonna use two motions and let's change the parameter to v speed there you go so now we actually need some animations to play here so let's jump onto the animation window if you don't have it open it's a uh, control 6 or window animation and let's select the soldier over here let's create a new clip and let's save it under the tutorial animation soldier folder and we're gonna call it jump up if we let me actually split the view over here let's bring the animation let's drag it over here on the right so that we can see the character so here's what we're gonna do let's hit record and we want the character to bend his knees forwards a little bit whenever he's jumping up so whenever he's going up he's gonna have his knees bent a little bit and yeah something like that you see that artist right there and the same for the other one cool and then we're also gonna bring down the weapon so if you just drag I'm not using IKs because this animation is just gonna have one keyframe so with the IKs it just it doesn't work so we're actually gonna have to uh, the IKs are deactivated so that we can rotate the bones and we're just gonna do it manually so here let's drag down and there you go let's drag down the weapon a little bit and let's adjust the other arm and rotate the hand something like that there you go and let's make his head look upwards a little bit and there you go that's the position that we want for the jump up animation or something similar now let's do something else let's go into this soldier game object and we're gonna create a new pose and we're gonna save it under the tutorial anima 2d poses and instead of soldier bind we're gonna call this one soldier soldier jump and up there you go the reason why I'm doing this is because right now we're gonna exit record mode and we're gonna create a new clip which we're gonna call jump and down there you go jump down and now let's hit the record button and let's just click on load and load up that 
soldier jump up pose. That way we have the character in the same, uh, exact same position that we had him uh, in the other clip. And for this clip we want the head to be looking downwards a little bit because he's falling so he's gonna he wants to look where he's falling and then we're just gonna bring the weapon up a little bit uh, we might have to move the arm a little tiny bit there you go and just there you go just a tad more and now for the legs we want them to be pointing forwards like so as if he was getting ready to land with his feet you know there you go uh, something like so something like so looks good so perfect now that we have this let's exit record mode and let's go back to the animator and let's actually add those clips into the blend tree so if we select the blend tree we're gonna add let's go over here into the animation soldier folder and let's drag the jump down and jump up animations and let's deactivate automate thresholds and we're gonna set some thresholds uh, in a very particular way so here you can see that we have vSpeed and this parameter is positive whenever the character is going up and is negative whenever the character is going down so the thresholds will determine the transition depending on that variable now when the character is either falling or jumping upwards at full speed he is the, this value is going to be somewhere around six or seven and so the thresholds that we want to set are for the jump down is going to be negative six and for the jump up is going to be six you could use other values and it would work the same but the reason why i'm setting such a big threshold is we're gonna get way smoother transition between the two animations if i pull up the the preview over here we're gonna have a way smoother change and transition between those two animations which is gonna make the jump uh look uh way better if we go back into the game window now let's save the scene and hit play so now over here we have the walking nice and now if we jump did you see that boom there you go now we have some jumping animations now you may be wondering what about the falling animation well you have probably guessed it the v speed is going to be negative whenever we're going down so if we, if i just follow this cliff you'll see that it plays the, the jumping down animation because the v speed is negative so we've actually killed two birds with one stone here because we with just one blend tree we have fully set the jumping animations and the falling animation all in one so that was it for this tutorial i hope you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up in the comments down below let me know what do you think about this tutorial if you have any suggestions for new tutorials or any questions that you may have also subscribe for more videos like this and to check out the next tutorial about shooting which is going to be really really cool